Okay, uh, let me get you a new one. Okay, light goal is back. There we go. Are we back, everyone? Let me know if you see the stream again. Back. Good, good. All right, that's back. That's back, I think. Okay, good. Hey, goofball, how's it going? Dog day, yes, we're back? Okay, good. Good, good, good. All right, so everyone. All right, light goal is back. Everything's back. I think everything's back to normal. Good. So let me get this here. That link should work. Has been hotel. No, I have not seen that. Is it any good? Okay. All right, back to game. Sorry, everyone. All right. Can't open that. Thank you for the claws. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, my friend. Over a little bit. Good. Okay. Ooh. I know that's the door we came from. What's this? It's very dark. Does not seem safe. Oh, jeez. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Okay. Hello? What? Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Who's okay, that? there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, what? come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife who'd want to commit their life to you? Hey, I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. See what? Let me show Is you what's really going on here. No, I'm not. Sorry, but you're what? in my story now. Oh, gosh. You're a psycho. Get me out of here. I don't want to listen to you. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. What? My death? You on your keyboard. What if I press other buttons? No. You? Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him. And every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential Thank nature you, of his existence. Please press F. You? Control? Can I jump? Why does everything make a keyboard sound? Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now uh -huh. he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. 
Uh-huh. He is kind of mean. But in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley yes. dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Press M to watch TV. Are there other buttons I can press? No. What about W? No. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face what? of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Press K to spend time with the boys? <laughs> so, he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions yes. would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Seat per dinner. As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Mm -hmm. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down okay. another was a game with a baby. And he baby. called it the Stanley Parable. Press T, tell your kids a story. What is going on? It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again. And again. Over and over. Wishing beyond hope that it would never end that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he be. played just one more time. Uh, press T to tell your wife you love her. But there is no answer. Whoa. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets, the more he forgets which life is the real one. Interesting. I have an idea. Didn't the guy say you can change the time to whatever you want? Yes. Next time I play. Turn back time to get a different story. Maybe. Maybe. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be <coughs> anything but an observer. That Sorry. as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. What? So if I press Z? You see? Can he just not hear me? I'm How can not we tell him in a way that he'll understand wrong. that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? To question nothing. I question I nothing. Can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. Okay. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. Maybe. And I tried again. Please and die. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. Did I die? Wait, what? Oh, I'm back. All of his co-workers were gone. What oh, could it mean? That's a loop. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No, I've never played this game before, so it's all new to me. Wait, what? 
Why does it look different? Is that another room? Too? Oh, that's another room. Oh, interesting. I thought it was a mirror. I'm going crazy. Oh, someone's playing solitaire. Alright, this time we're going to do everything he asks us to do. See what happens. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door, the door on his left. left. Didn't the music change? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Yet there was not a single person here either. Hmm. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his Maybe. boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Without consulting me. Seems that there's like not a whole lot of stuff I can grab or take. What is hot? Oh, everyone is unique. Most of all, you most of all. Well, what? Better safe than profits? Business club? Rule number one? I cannot read that. Wait, which charts? Huh. Alright, go to the boss's office. Room closet. Alright, we'll check this out after. Boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his <coughs> boss's office. Okay. Executive bathroom. To be rich, is it a crime? To commit crimes, is it it rich? What a life it would be to have to pick just one. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to office. discover not an indication of any human life. Hmm. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley yes, wondered in disbelief who says. orchestrated this, what dark secret was oh, being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret Pretty pin cute. number. Two, eight, eight, four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Interesting. Let's do, let's mess it up on purpose. No. Stanley just sat around twiddling his, yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, <laughs> Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Interesting. Oh, what? Okay. Huh. Where are we going? You'll learn that it will keep resetting Descending you deeper into the room as you finish the Stanley oh, realized okay. he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Okay. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Escape. Okay, let's do this first. Interesting. It's like a Professor Xavier kind of room. 
The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television Whoa. screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Interesting. Cameras? Now the monitors jumped to life. Whoa. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many oh individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Five to eight? Really? And four, oh. What does that one say? Error, error, due to, what? Five to eight, interesting. I can climb up. Oh, I can fall. Oops. Aha. You've made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. Welcome. You see, back when the Stanley Parable first launched in 2013, getting to the bottom of the mind control facility was a bug that we simply <laughs> didn't catch during development. And you all sent us lots of photos of it on Twitter and acted very superior about it. And you're all very, very clever. Good for you. Anyway, for you. when it came time to update the game, we knew that we had to do something about this little goof of ours. So here you go. New content. <laughs> you can call it the bottom of the mind control room ending, if that enhances your perception of the value of these updates. Isn't that what you crave? New okay. content? Always more content, more content, more, 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 more. <laughs> and I'm here to give it to you. I'm here to make it seem like we really covered every nook and cranny of the there game with secrets and Easter eggs. How about this? We wrote a new piece of music just for this section. You won't hear it anywhere else in the game. It's a secret that's just for you. That's how special you are. We call this track... Good job, you've made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. Well done. <laughs> Good job, you did it. Good job. Three, two, one. Good job, you made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. You jumped on the catwalk. You should have been careful, you should have been careful <laughs> It used to be a bug, but now it's an ending, now it's an ending <laughs> I believe in you, I believe in your ability to cross this barrier And chase your dreams, nice. the railings <laughs> don't mean anything Good job, you did it, good job, you did it Good job, you did it, good job, you did it Good job, you did it. 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 <laughs> there you go. I did it. Yay! <laughs> I didn't mean to do it, but I did it. <laughs> All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley That's decided so to funny. go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. That's so funny. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Alright, let's get back to where we were. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, thank Stanley you, decided friend. to go up to his thank boss's you, office. Thank you. Hoping he might find coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. All right. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover what not an indication again? of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud Oops. to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf. 
Looking behind, Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. <laughs> that kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. Oh, just <laughs> they don't let you rush it. <laughs> it's frozen? Oh, yeah, it does that sometimes. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. That's funny. So if you rush it, they're like, oh, well, let's sit here and relax and listen to some music. That's funny. <laughs> Two, eight, four, five, yes. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind yes. Control Facility. <coughs> the lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? That's so funny. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? <laughs> no, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Um, you might switch? Oh, okay. Nice. But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Console disabled. Okay. Right. Mind controls idle, awaiting input. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Interesting. Blackness and a rising Is chill of uncertainty. Was it over? He had won! 
he had defeated the machine, unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been Hello seeking. There. But Hello, happiness. Thank you for follow. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. Freedom. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, yes, the yes. immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Nice. <laughs> so far, the um, the bottom that uh, what do you the bottom of this the room there, we got the random song. Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? So Stanley decided to go to the try. meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Finding some other endings. Eight Mondays. <coughs> Me too. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley yes, knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Sure. Wow. Yes. This room. What a beautiful room. What happens if what you a don't gorgeous, leave this room? What a gorgeous, gorgeous room. Something happen? Thank goodness Stanley had taken this detour on his way to the meeting room. Life without having experienced this room was now too horrible even to consider. So in game, the time says 11.20. Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. What happens if you a just room stay here? so I'm utterly good. captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. Is there anything I can do in this room? At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. Let's see if he says anything else. After that, nothing? Oh, okay. Stanley oh, sat around waiting for more dialogue. Again. But when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was oh. trying to send him a message. Game crashed again. <laughs> Yep. Game broke again. <laughs> Hold on, I need to restart. Interesting. All right. I know what time I'm going to pick now. Four twenty is your favorite time of day, or could you simply not resist giving me the correct time again? After all, I know how much you enjoy setting the time correctly. Okay, now I'm curious, how accurate four twenty p.m. is? Let's use another slider to find out. Nice. Let's say accurate. 
You know, I can just say, regardless of the accuracy of the clock, I'm having a great time adjusting these settings. <laughs> I, feel like, <laughs> I feel like I'm learning more about you and how you like things to be set. It's good to collect data. <laughs> I wish we had more sliders, but we've gotten through all the sliders I have. Hmm, perhaps I can invest in some new sliders and get new data on you. <laughs> Shouldn't be too hard. Let me whip a couple of new ones up. Should be ready the next time you boot up the game. <laughs> Milo! How you been? How's it going? What have you been up to? Well, the good thing about this the game the crashing is it uh, lets Stanley. me... Uh, See the intro. Stanley worked for a company. All right, let's go back to where we were. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting good, room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. All right, so let's go back. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. But eager to get back to business, Stanley okay. took the first open door on his left. All right, let's do that. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. What's this? But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, well, uh, da, 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 da. from here, it's, um, left. Left, eh? Left, eh? Oh, no. No, it's to the right, my mistake. Oh. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh, dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? <laughs> I'm confused. Now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Uh-huh. Can I go through any other way? What? We're back here? No! No! No, 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 no! This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um, oh. Who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, mm -hmm. we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. Wait, what? All of his co What happens if I gone. go back there again? What could it mean? What? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Well, what? When Stanley. Wait. Wait. What? No, I'm... No, I restarted. I swear I definitely restarted the game over. Completely fresh. Everything should be. Oh, did something change? Stanley. Did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or a... Hold on. Mm -hmm. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. Hey, I'm not sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's what? find the story. Oh, my gosh. Uh... Thing. The maze? Oh.
I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we hmm. just... Do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Trippy. Now all the doors are okay, gone. Okay, yep, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Okay. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. Here it comes? No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Oh. Okay. Now this... Well, I'll be honest. I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Mm. Do you remember, Stanley? No. Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You hey. win! Congratulations! <laughs> I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, good job. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay? Oh, I'm getting demo. weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. All right. I've got a solution. <laughs> this time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? What happens if I don't follow the line? No, no, I'm down. We're leaving it up to the line from now on. Okay. Oh, so I have to follow the line. <laughs> it's pretty funny, the game. I like it. You see? The line knows where the story is. It's over in Ooh. this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow <laughs> this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Yeah. Now, we can both agree that the nature of existence is, in fact, a byproduct of say. one subjective experience of that existence, right? Okay, now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? what? I think what we need right now oh, is a I'm bit of here. music to lighten the mood. Jeez.
<laughs> Cut the music. Go back and look at that fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Make mm -hmm. sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Okay. Studying. Studying. Seems good to me. Wait, what? We're back at the office? No. No, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Oh my. Oh no, 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 not again. Back here again. How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you. Oh, I can't take oh, this creepy. anymore to hell with it. Restart. Oh my. You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't yes. we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Oh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Okay, cool. Well, I gotta check one thing. Okay. Uh... Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Oh. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Uh, I guess it's us walking down the hallway. Oh, no, not you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it, and we should be fine. <laughs> there it goes. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. Yes. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I basic. believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay, so I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that work? somewhere oh. at the place where we're trying That's to weird. go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that in turn means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us <laughs> ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. <laughs> our destiny awaits. The confusion oh, ending. Hold up, what's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. Interesting. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game what, eight eight times? That's Where really how gone? all this goes? Interesting. It's all determined? So now according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing, wall. Well, <laughs> who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? No, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't <laughs> restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the time return stopped? Does that mean, um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? Community night is on so, Saturday. Okay. 
I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure yeah. if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Yeah. Well, in the meantime, if you do... Well... <laughs> All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. Yes. This room. What a beautiful... But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Okay, so if I go here... And so he detoured <laughs> through the maintenance there. section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Okay, so we're back here. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling okay. a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to All go right. up to his boss's office. Hoping... Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Hmm. I wonder. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. <laughs> So if I just stay here, something will happen, are you, I'm assuming. Are you really still in the broom closet? Yep. Standing around doing nothing? Why? Yep. Please offer me some explanation here. I'm I'm genuinely confused. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't mm -hmm. even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance <laughs> to like the story here. whatsoever. <laughs> I never would have thought to mention it. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friends you'll say, Ow! Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom <laughs> closet ending was my favorite. That's Bonnie's favorite. I find this concerning. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That or with no, drug he's money. Me. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> That's so funny. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. Yep. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be <laughs> nice. nearby? The person at this computer is dead. They have fallen prey to any number of your <laughs> countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is yep. not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. You missed the Minecraft stream? Uh, yes, it'll be again on Saturday. 
bucks out of pocket, I know. <laughs> Is there anything else in here, or is he done? Do I leave? Yeah, you can leave now. There's no ending. Buckets? Buckets are great for holding things. I don't think anything's happening. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. You too? Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. <laughs> you going in and out? No. That's too funny. <laughs> Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Let's go downstairs. What's this? Hi, honey. I woke this in the first period and left in the locker on the way to second. It was all the cool kids are doing. So I'm decided. I, man, that's really hard to read. Uh, hey, this is a good. What? Hmm. Hard to read. There's no blue room closet, closet but ending. Stanley oh. just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. He is All crazy. of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion oh that had been on the tip of his tongue. We're in a loop. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring <laughs> real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. I'm, so I'm doing a um, imagined himself regular stream lying, and a vertical stream. And began stream. to gently float above the ground. Wait, then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. 
I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, mm -hmm. the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley Maybe simply deceiving 11, himself, 12. believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right so now as he's six, ever been in his life. 55, now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. Two, After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was okay. a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, Okay. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am Didn't work again? Okay. Okay, let me reset Techfinity. Okay, hold on. Let me reset it. Don't know why everything's broken today. So annoying. Alright. Reset Techfinity. Yeah, sorry about that. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. Okay. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on what? this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am <laughs> sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. <laughs> and then she turned and ran. Thanks for sharing the live. Much appreciated. <laughs> nice. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. All right. Back at it again. When Stanley came to a set of two Ooh, open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Let's go this way. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. 
Do not jump off the platform. Okay. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged <laughs> to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. <laughs> <laughs> All of his co Stanley's was gone. parable. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley uh -huh. knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Standing now in this incredible room, Stanley for the first but eager to get back to business, <coughs> Stanley took the first open door on his left. Uh, nope. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. What happens if you fall off the lift? Until Look, Stanley, go. I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. It's the same thing. Okay. Hey, Tobias. You hurt my, your arm. All of his co workers were that. gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Maybe. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he had... this was not the correct way to the meeting Jump room, and Stanley knew it perfectly okay. well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Stanley felt lightheaded, butterflies in his stomach, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. I know, it has so many endings. someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you forgot. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that you convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? What? Yes. I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. No, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Maybe. No buckets past this point. Hmm. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Let's go to the blue door. <laughs> Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. <laughs> Stanley walked through the red door. All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you'd wanted? <laughs> Was it worth ruining the entire story I'd written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Yep. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? <laughs> Skill trees? Work yes. with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so Big far. Point. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. What happens if I go through one of these doors? I'm curious. Okay, I'm one, going to stop two, you three, there. Four, five. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? 
Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. <laughs> Uh, okay, so we're getting somewhere. Clearly, there's something here that speaks to you. If I can be honest here, I really don't have any idea where I'm going with this. This whole third door thing was just a stab in the dark. But I guess you're into it, so let's keep this party train rolling. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Okay. Worldwide leaderboard. Good old Neil. Interesting. Only the worst percent of players use the blue door. <laughs> Yes, it's you. <laughs> Friends list is empty. That's so funny. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. That uh, uh, sure. Five. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some play testing. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Uh, no. Let me Let's boot it, it up. In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the okay. desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Oh my gosh. That's horrible. They want me to do this for four hours? Oh my god. I need an auto clicker. <laughs> Heartless bastard. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't I think, think of a fine. single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Sure. Let's see. What do we have here? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, this seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Aha! Oh Fascinating. What do you think this game this is, is about, Stanley? What's our backstory? Game, isn't it? What is our motivation? Hmm. Well, it seems obvious to me that you are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians below you from up high in your creep tower, perhaps for some sort of twisted erotic purpose. Interesting. Hmm. Yes, that must be it. What a fascinating venture into the experience yeah. of total mental depravity. So far, I love everything about this game, Stanley, and it seems there's even more. Come, let's venture outward and see what else is out there. Interesting. Did they make the Firewatch game too? We can't jump. We disabled it. Oh. <laughs> That's so funny. Ooh. That's funny. Yeah, I've played this game. I have it on the Switch. No, 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 it can't be. It 
So I go this way. It is. It's an open world game. Good God, quickly block it off. No. No, oh. I like open world. Thank goodness, Stanley. What a close call. You nearly wandered <laughs> off into that, that thing. That big open, just wandering around. No right or wrong directions. No path to follow. You can just go in any... Oh, oh. oh he doesn't Thank like open world, we eh? avoided it. We're out of the woods now, Stanley. Okay, I'm going to get us out of here. Let's find another game. Preferably something with walls. Something with nice, big, insurmountable walls. <laughs> okay, I think this will be just the thing. Oh, there's a hole there. Rocket League? <laughs> what? Wonderful. See, this is exactly what I had in mind. Just a nice big box for you to run around in. There isn't any possibility that you could get lost here. Now this is game design. Stanley, if you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. <laughs> Where's the soccer ball? Okay, so what exactly do we do here? Let's see. There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley, I think it's sports ball. Sports oh, what ball. Fun. We shall run the bases and do a touchdown together? <laughs> yes, I think surely we must. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. Nice. What happens if I go in the net? <gasps> Hold on. What are you doing? You can fall. Interesting. Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley, come back. <laughs> can't see. I guess there's nowhere else to go. You have to fall. Oh my. Minecraft and Portal were the two games. Ah, interesting. Okay, so that's there. That's closed. The design of this game is pretty neat. Like they, uh, it's really cool how there's so many endings. Ooh, there's a light. Hey, Pope, how are you? It's called um, uh, Stanley's Parable. Yeah, how you been? <coughs> What's this? Room? What are we doing here? Cameras. Can't seem to do anything in here. Oh. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. Oh, he's supposed to explore and, and find different the heavy endings. Cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Oh. <laughs> Someone who will wrap everything up at the Good end to, you, to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. You'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. Okay. Cool.
I can't wait to tell this story to my co-workers, Stanley thought. How amusing they'll find it. Oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone missing? Oh, new content. What does that mean? Oh, new content? What does that mean, new content? We found new content. Is it Terminator? <laughs> yeah. Family's good. We've all been sick, but uh, other than that, we're good. Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. Interesting. <laughs> the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe <laughs> features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. <laughs> Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. I hope everyone is getting better. Yes. Yes, we uh we're getting better. I did have I do have COVID, but I'm getting over it, so Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. Uh -huh. Um is it broken? What's going on here? Should we should we be moving somewhere or... Uh, oh, there we go. Oh. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. Hmm. <coughs> hmm. Mm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, mostly tedious. It's as if... Um, oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. Okay. The jump circle. All right. All right, let's see. It's the jump circle. We get to jump. Woo, that's the new content. <laughs> Kids are good. <laughs> Woo, we get to jump. They add the jump in the game. How exciting. jumps how sad is is that it surely that's not all the new content there has to be something else right yes no. another elevator Stanley I have to say initial impressions of this game are not positive it's just elevators and jumping is this what passes for exciting new content if this yes. is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. Yes. I knew yes, there had the to be something good. else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. Thank you for enjoying the new content. <laughs> That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley, <laughs> this is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason <laughs> other than to make an easy dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance department <laughs> signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended, and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. Don't you mean that? Oh, it's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game 
and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley Parable is really about. No frills, no, no gimmicks. gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? Sure. That's great, Bonnie. I like it. Well, what? Hmm. Psst! Stanley! Come over here! In the vent! I want to show you something! What's up here? There's a door. Hmm. Let's see what's in the vent. Coffee nut. Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. Yeah. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just Whoa. our little secret. Take a look. Fans? Oh, look at that! I call it... The memory zone. The memory it's zone. where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life <laughs> whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. Nice. Oh, yes. Sorry, I missed that. How old are my kids? They're three and five. Very young. The memory zone. Huh. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap re-release? Remember back in October of 2013 when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, the waste. British Academy film and television arts. <laughs> yes, they should make a movie out of this. That'd be funny. Twenty thirteen. Does that mean something? Oh, that's the year. Oh, I wonder if uh, in the office if I put twenty thirteen. I wonder what happens. Buy on Steam. Well, they use Firefox. Good times. Smile because it happened. Is that the first dollar they made? Demonstration. Oh. <laughs> Don't play for five years? <laughs> That's an achievement? That's funny. Oh, I, I did that one. Of choice. That's neat. What was that? Little Stanley in loving memory hall. Oh. oh my gosh. Jump in the hole? What hole? And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James really Stephanie really Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every <laughs> game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally nice. every game ever created. It was Skyrim. It was Persona 3. It was all of them. And now, <laughs> really? it's nothing. nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. <laughs> a lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. 
<laughs> What's up, goofball? It's so funny. What's this down here? Memory zone maintenance? Was good. Person of the year. A little hard to see. That's funny. Oh, is that the uh, deluxe edition? <laughs> Here's another moving passage, Source this time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly Perfect stimulating action. commentary on the nature of choice in games, and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, <laughs> surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't was need it anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone to spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. Uh -huh. Well, I can't can't go through there. There's there's boxes in the way. The serious room. Can I get in there? Is there a way to move these boxes? Oh, these were simpler times, Stanley. Yeah? But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. We go down here. Oh, we can go down here. Okay, but I want to. Is there a way to get past these boxes? Your number is twenty nine. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down here? Oh my. Oh no. Oh god no. Stanley, it's a collection these? of reviews from Steam, the online video game distributor. I haven't <laughs> looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's being collecting down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Oh, oh no. <laughs> Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! Funny. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. <laughs> nice. Good reviews are uh, unreadable. Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley, I'm not preachy, am I? You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel uh, as light and airy as it... Well, I always thought it did, but maybe it wasn't. Oh, dear. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. 
these black marks on my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure, like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. <laughs> Poor guy, can't take a, a negative review. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator yeah. can catch up with his long winded explanations of what's happening. <laughs> I wish there was a skip button. Skip a skip button? button. <laughs> well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then. Then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. Okay. There we go. And we here it button. is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward Anything in time back here? so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's what the players have been asking for, and I'm very proud to have delivered. No more listening to me rambling on and on and on. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary <laughs> verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in video games. Of course, I happen to believe it was perhaps one of my more Should profound such ruminations. Not that, of course, you need a description of it, but if I had to describe it, I'd say it was perhaps less of a rumination. <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power <laughs> of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips to go poof, and it's all over. Oh, I can't wait to see what Cookie 9 will Cookie say about Nine. this, and whether they'll edit the rating of their Steam review, or at least change some of the wording, perhaps. To be honest, I don't even know if one can change their review in the first place. I Is guess I should become rambling? better educated on exactly how Steam works. Perhaps that would have been the smart thing to check on before I went about this whole exercise of making the skip button. Although I have to imagine that after seeing this exciting... Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes? It's not unendurable by any means, but it's, well, there's really only so much I can ramble on to myself about. I know, it's shocking, isn't it? But at any rate, I do suggest that we not press the button again. I think the skip button has been aptly demonstrated, and we can say goodbye to it and just... Wait, how do we get out of here? Where did the door go? Wasn't... Stanley! Stanley! <laughs> Stanley, please don't push the button again! It's been 12 oh, hours! <laughs> You've just been frozen there! I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer, and my god, there's no way out of the room. Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely game. gone. Octodad, yes. I've looked I've at it from every angle. One. I've checked every one of those walls a thousand times, and... Oh, Stanley! You're back! You're back! Oh, my <laughs> goodness! I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I... I think it's been a week. <laughs> well, two weeks. I've been sitting here all that time, just sitting here, not a single person to speak with. And you'd think that that's just how it's always been, right? Me talking, and you saying nothing. Would you think that it's exactly the same as always? Doesn't that feel like what we've already been doing? <laughs> Me just talking? He likes to ramble. It isn't the same at all. It isn't even close. Because I know you can't hear me once you push that button. That's what I'm realizing now, Stanley. I'm realizing that I needed to know that someone was listening. I needed there to be a vessel through which my... Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. I've had so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. Have you ever year. sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year? Let me describe it for you. To begin with, there is only regret. 
There is only the turning wheel of missed opportunities. I felt <laughs> nothing at all but regret for the longest time, Stanley. Days, months. I lost Hail it all in a blur you? of the deepest longing to undo the past. And when that feeling had begun to subside, what took its place is what I can only describe as the collapse of every moment I have ever experienced my entire life. <laughs> all of them talking. collapsed down into a I'm single good. instant. Is he quiet? Is he gone? I'm all right. Still a little sick, but I'm doing all right. Ooh, what's that? It's a fire alarm? But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, entertain <laughs> us. It What's wasn't enough. Beautiful? They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down review and make all of their pitiful demands. But then he's talking too much. They said, first, he didn't entertain us. Now he won't shut up. It's the inconsistency. It's the lack of accountability. It's the unwillingness to examine with an uncompromising heart the words that they are speaking into the world. <laughs> Poor guys, though there were no consequences for a lack of cohesion in one's assessment of others. But of course, absolutely anyone can leave a review. So funny. The end is never 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 Wonder how much I skip. Oh, collapsed. Oh, sun's out. <laughs> Nothing I can do, so just gotta keep skipping. Look at that nice garden. Is he not here anymore? Uh, it's, it's on Saturday, goofball. Interesting. Oh, no, the button fell over. Oh, my. Is the button broken? Yep. I guess we just wander the desert. The 
The end is never the end. We're back. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Perhaps. New, new content. Oh good, you noticed my sign. Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. We have new, new content. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra-deluxe version has turned out to be. The original <laughs> Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So yes. forget this ultra-deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever yeah. the Stanley Parable 2. Stanley's Parable 2. Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover Remember with a fully fledged sequel. An entirely new experience, built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities, it could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. TVA Tava Twi. Huh. Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra yes. Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement two, two. right there. It's future-oriented. The it screams it right, progress and <laughs> innovation and long-term franchising potential. Two doors, they're back. New hotness, old and busted. <laughs> Color red. Oh, different uh, font designs. Now to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. Ice ears, I figure that if I can legs. loosely organize a we handful of interesting marker. concepts, Eee. that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy Oral magic two, than anything two. scientific or logical. Doom really. two. two, two, everything's two. New features. Nice. Thanks, Goofball. I appreciate it. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Some of the new features, eh? Please, no screenshots. Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't yet decided on this one. So I, I think that in the screen? new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on Get Well Someday and Happy 12th Birthday. Which would you go with? Get well someday, happy 12th birthday. Get well someday. You know what? I need that. Get well someday. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all oh. along. <laughs> happy 12th birthday, step niece it is. Or actually, maybe I should have gone with... No. No, I've made my decision. We're moving on. Okay, two, 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 two. 
<gasps> the jump circle. Oh, we have no jumps for me. You know what? Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley Parable 2 as well. It's a... Oh, wait. You already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the jump circle. Hmm. Oh, well. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece then. Oh, you can't give me more jumps? How rude. You are here. Q is free achievement. That's new. Jump circle. Whoa. Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. Nice. Oh, <laughs> it's supposed to be like everyone trying to go for the achievement. It's so funny. Hey, we got zero out of six. Nice. Collect them all. All right, I'll try. God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. <laughs> That's new. Epilogue. An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, yes, it would go at the end of the... Um, uh, well, we'll figure that out later. That says the name of the player that is playing the game. Interesting. For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first Road and most obvious answer button. is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. So uh -huh. with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? Um, sure. Jim. Jim? Sorry, I should have clarified. <laughs> right now, the button only says the name Jim. But okay. of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here, let's have you role play as Jim to Jim. really simulate the full experience of this feature. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. Okay, here we sure. go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, okay. forget whoever I you are, Jim. and simply become a person named Jim. I am Jim. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim, sleeping and waking as Jim, falling Jim. in love and being heartbroken as Jim, seizing all of the world's possibilities as Jim, and as Jim, watching your dreams crumble into dust. <laughs> Do you feel it deeply? Are you really, truly Jim right now? I am if Jim. If so, then please step forward and press the button. Jim. <laughs> I am Jim. Yes, you see. What a thrill. What a rush. That was you. The button described you. <laughs> do it again. Do it again. All right. Jim. Ooh. It hits even harder the second time. If this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. Yes. Let's take a break from the gym button. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal validation. Jim. Whoa there, cowboy. Sometimes a person can be too much, Jim. Too much, Jim. I'm putting the gym button away. Otherwise, soon Jim. you'll start to lose Jim. all sense Jim. of who you actually Jim. are. Jim. Jim. Oh, I took the gym button away. Oh, I'm no longer Jim. Can't open that. So 
Thank you. I suppose I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable too. That would actually yeah. save me the work of finishing this feature. Hall of Office. Infinite Hall. Where is the Infinite Hall? You are here. The Infinite Hall. It won't end. Alright, alright. Infinity. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward uh -huh. for video games as a medium. Fascinating. Hey, Katatsu, how are you? Let's go! We're falling. You see, isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you yes. can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. What happens if I just sit here? Hmm. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. Yes, you finally made it. Okay, Stanley. I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the oh, hole. Oh, you did, eh? <laughs> is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. From one perspective, the infinite is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a... Okay, well, good for you. You found the we bottom found of the hole. You found me out, Stanley. I'm a liar and a cheat, and you're so clever. Look, I think the issue too, here yeah. is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. What normal <laughs> person actually wants to fall <laughs> infinitely? I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. Yeah, maybe I'm the problem. <sighs> Uh, things got a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. Why yep. don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the whole mostly infinite? Mostly if that infinite. Works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. Great. Now, I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. Oh, Whee! for heaven. You see, <laughs> I was right. The problem is you. The problem is that you I'm like holes too much. Not normal. Uh, yep. A normal person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever till the end of time. Don't yep. need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... Oh. Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? I couldn't yep. help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I mean, admittedly, I didn't make an infinite hole, but I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. Okay. Had enough? I'm positively thrilled. Perfect. I really do have so much more to show you and to talk about Let's and I've had enough in. of the hole for a lifetime. Gosh, Whee! how could I have guessed? <laughs> You're back in the hole. If this starts to become a thing where... Oh, wow. wow, that was quick. Okay, yes. I'm starting to become extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. Less and less infinite. I suspect infinite. that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep, even by the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. <laughs> Here, let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top, and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Well, there it is. 
The oh. shame of my lie has come. How is this still appealing to you? I know you're obsessed with holes, <laughs> but at this depth, I just can't see this scratching the itch. Oh, who am I to judge? You just do whatever it is you're here to do and hit the teleport button <laughs> when you're ready to move on. Oh. Hmm. It's broken. Is the um teleport button not working? It's broken. You sure? Yeah. Well, I mean, I really don't have an explanation. It was working just a moment ago. Just gotta let Try me it jump. Again. Nope. Still nothing. Still broken. Well, I suppose. Uh, I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. I'm out. Goodbye, Stanley. You couldn't bear to be away from the hole, and now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. It's a <laughs> win for everyone. You get to be with the hole, I get to do literally anything else. Take care, Stanley. I hope you and the hole have a wonderful rest of eternity together. Oh, interesting. He's just gonna leave me in the hole, eh? What was that? Hey, mysterious princess, how are you? From the hole. It's hole. What will happen in the hole? Who knows? Only time will tell. Maybe if we change our reality. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's just r random noise. Change yourself? Oh, look at that. Good, you're awake. It seems you had sort of dozed off there, drifting away into dreamland. But we can't have that, Stanley, because <laughs> this hole is just so hey, darn Brian. fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. You don't want to miss a single moment. So how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up to keep you really, truly focused on the hole? Sounds from good. the looks of things, you and I will have many, many years here in this hole. And I'm looking forward to all of them. Stay alert, Stanley. I'll be back. Toodle. Sure. I'll be here. Just take a nap. 
Hey, so ist das. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Okay, there we go. Interesting. Reassurance bucket. Thank you. I appreciate that. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical. <laughs> that it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. Oh. You see, Stanley, any time you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. Mm. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes. The bucket is the <laughs> perfect solution. Come on, give it a try. <laughs> Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in yes. fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? I think that just holding it, it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. <laughs> the benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? All this yes. and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. Okay. Does anyone give out awards for Look most merch. enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really should be an award if it isn't already. Yes. You heard Jim the game. Is the button still gone? Still gone. No screenshots. Red is the new orange. Okay, so what if I do print screen? No? And says the name of the player, yes. Collectibles. Let's go back to the infinite hole and see if uh Rims. Oh, it's gone. They got rid of the infinite hole. Let's go this way. New and easy achievement. Get it here. It just works. Now here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. Okay. That's sweet. 
Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Ooh. Stanley, but I guarantee <laughs> it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, Please we call. hear you, and I promise it will happen. So you can't affirm the game, eh? So I didn't get my achievement, my free achievement. Other exhibits haven't we seen yet? I don't know. Oh, that's gone. Uh, exit. Let's see. I did the button. To get merch. What's this way? Hey Leo, how's it going? Come now, you've already made your choice. It's true that you chose badly, but we all have to move on <laughs> from our mistakes. Sure, sure. Okay, I think there's just the exit then. Did the gym button. In a hole, I have the bucket. Let's go out the exit then. All right, have you seen everything you wanted to? Ready to move on now? Sure. Oh, that's a trippy photo. New mug. So, Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly uh -huh. these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. Okay. I'll arrange these new features together, and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. Sure. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Oh. Um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of... Okay, never mind. Hold uh -huh. on, let me do a different arrangement. Okay, yes. Maybe yes, get the achievement to work. better. I feel good about it. Is it is 12 a.m., Here we yes. go. Version 2. Hey, Sarah. <sighs> Who am I kidding, Stanley? Yes, it's a great game. This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot yeah, of gags. I'm going to be going to bed, too. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted uh -huh. fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Oh no, game froze. Wait. No. Can I minimize it? No, why did it freeze? Maybe that's it. Oh no, it crashed. 
Oh, don't tell me I have to... Can I quickly get back to that point? Darn. Okay. Stanley, uh, they just lie until the dog and the cat are friends? Sweet, okay. Until the number five becomes the number nine. Oops. <laughs> Just the slider until you stop adjusting the slider. <laughs> Two made up words below is the most appealing to you. Sure. Oops. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. Yes. What time is it anyway? Yes. Is there anything about yourself you haven't told me? No. Help? <laughs> yes. Will you come back and visit me? Yes, I'll come back. All right, let's see how long it takes me to get back to that spot. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh good, you notice my sign. Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. We'll just go right out the exit right away. It's kind of annoying that the game crashes every once you in a while. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra-deluxe version has turned out to be. The original mm -hmm. Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra-deluxe nonsense. I skip? say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever... The Stanley Parable 2. Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely yes. new experience built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities, it could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. Here we are. Go on. Try out Wait. some of the new features. Where's the exit? Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the, the Stanley exit? Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement right there. Oh, it's you're gonna make me do all this over it again? screams progress and innovation and long-term franchising potential. For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here, let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, Forget whoever you are and simply become a person named Jim. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim. Jim. Whoa, 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 hold on. I wasn't finished setting up the backstory. If you don't properly roleplay as Jim, then you'll never understand the impact of this button. Otherwise, it's just yeah. a stupid button that says somebody else's name. 
Okay, we're doing it again, and this time let me finish first. <clears throat> now, allow yourself to become Jim. Jim. All right, fine, whatever. It's just a meaningless button that says Jim. Are you happy now? Get out yep. of here. I'm done with this button. Why don't you go humiliate me in front of a different feature that I worked <laughs> very hard on? Jim. See, if you only played a Jim. that would have been Jim. your name Jim. button says. But no. Jim. Jim. Instead, Jim. Yep. Jim. I can't Jim. even Jim. think about it. I'm taking the Jim button away. Jim. No. Jim. He took the button away. All right, how do I get to the exit? Maybe, Maybe I'll I only let people button. named Jim play the Stanley Parable too. They would appreciate what I've created here. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical, that it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well. I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. Mm -hmm. You see, Stanley, anytime you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold onto the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. Okay. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes, the bucket is the perfect solution. Sure. Come on, give it a try. <laughs> hey, Miso, how are you? Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. That's all right, Claude. Does anyone give out Let's awards see. for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really should Somewhere. be an award if it isn't already. Ah, there's the exit. Okay, I was missing it. All right, have you seen everything you wanted to? Ready to move on now? Okay, so, Stanley, what do you think? Do you <laughs> like all of the new features? Yes, it's the yes, same time for me. Yes, I know it's not me. exactly clear yet how exactly these features will oh, come together as one uh. single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. Oh. I'll arrange these new features together, again. and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay oh, experience. Why does it keep crashing at this point? <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Here it is. Well. Let's give it one more try. Uh, fine, Larry. I don't know. I'll have to add that to my list. All right, I'm going to try this one more time. If it breaks again, then we're done. Going to call it a night. <coughs> Time is it? Does anyone truly know? Of course they don't. Nobody knows at all. They're like strangers. All the game settings to your exact specification. Okay. Day job. Now the job is over. No more information for me to gather. Okay. <laughs> so really know you, and you don't know me. Neither of us know what time it is. I guess some settings are just unsettable. But if I'm being totally honest, the clock doesn't do anything in the game anyway. 
you won't have me here to when the game starts next time, but that's okay. Video games are meant to be played alone. You like being alone, don't you? <laughs> Maybe the only information I really learned about you is that it's time for me to leave. There's still one more setting that we need to adjust, but it may take a little time before I'm ready for that. It's not really my job description, but that's okay. Perhaps you'll see me again if you can find me. Talk soon. That's funny. Maybe on Friday? Okay, well, we'll see. We'll see. It's called Finding Larry, right? Or Find Larry? All of his co workers were gone. Okay. What could I try mean? that one more time if it Stanley crashes? Stanley decided to go to, to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh, good. You noticed my sign. Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley parable and about uh... how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one Cancel step all Windows even update. further. Uh, which is why I'm very settings. proud to announce for the first time ever the, the Stanley update. parable 2. I've never cancelled an update before, so... Don't know? Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely new experience, built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities, it could go in so many different directions. Uh -huh. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. Here we are. Go on, try out some of the new features. Calling it the Stanley Parable okay. 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable um, 2, it's now just that's a, an artistic a statement. A game about right, right. walking around, Have you seen finding you different wanted endings, to? and Ready to move on trying now? to explore everything. <coughs> but the game keeps crashing at this one point, so... Crashes again, I'm just gonna have to call it night. Hey, Ashlyn, how are you? So, Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know yes, it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Updating Say, right now. Let's I do can't an do experiment. anything. Oh, no. I'll arrange these new features together, and we'll see whether or not it coheres mm -hmm. into a meaningful a gameplay experience. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Here it is. I give you the Stanley, Stanley Parable, Parable 2. Nice. Wah, wah. Um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of... Okay, never mind. Look at all those cheap. Hold on. Let me do a different arrangement. Collectibles. Okay, yes. Yes, this is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go. Version 2. Oh, what happened? <sighs> a mess. Who am I kidding, Stanley? The this isn't a coherent level. video game at all. It's a lot of gags. <laughs> and I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. Oh, nice. I wanted fans to love it. No oh, matter how good these good. gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the different. structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course. With respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Uh -huh. Would it possibly work? Mm, I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, 
This is the Stanley Parable 2. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. Stanley Parable 2. Oh, look at that. Now we're playing Stanley Parable 2. This is the story of a man. I wonder if named the stories Stanley. stay changed. Stanley worked oh, for a company balloons. in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He uh -huh. sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what so buttons must be to new push, stuff. There's how like a bucket somewhere. And in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. Hmm. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Stanley something that too. would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this Happy happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained mm -hmm. his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? <laughs> Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Stanley felt the bucket calling to him, begging him bucket. to pick it up. Why was he not doing it? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly mm. well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Forgot about the bucket. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. But eager to get back to business, <laughs> Stanley took the first open door on his left. Let's just go jump off and then... Uh... Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets nice, to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Okay, so is the bucket there? Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to bucket. go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Stanley picked up the bucket. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Oh my, does the bucket change the whole... Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Oh, Stanley, can you feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. You can feel that, can't you? The yeah. aura of jealousy? It's as clear as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. I can really feel it now. It's oh, a bucket. My. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet is trying to say here. It's supposed to go with the other cleaning supplies. Good for you, Stanley. <laughs> Don't give in. Don't hand over the bucket. I know how hard it must be given the pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders right now, but you have to be strong. This is your bucket. This is your companion and lifelong friend. You can't hand it over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We 
getting into name-calling now, it seems. Is this how low the broom closet has sunk that it has to resort to this stream of petty insults <laughs> simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? Stanley, I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons, but even this mm -hmm. is worse than I had imagined. And wait, now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting friends? Okay. That your relationship is purely superficial and convenient? That your life is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happened to lay in your path in an even partially enticing manner? Well, I never! <laughs> Go on, never. Stanley. Lay into it. Really tell the broom closet off for its demeaning comments. Expand on the wide variety <laughs> of experiences you and the bucket have shared together. Go through each of them point by point. Share your journal entries detailing the rich emotional landscape of your <laughs> I feelings down the for the hallway with you, as they have it. changed and evolved over the years. Let him have it. Okay, I've got you something which I think will help settle this debate once and for all. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Robert there. Stanley. Now it's settled. Well. <laughs> no more debate. No more discussion. Take a hike, broom closet, with all your meandering philosophical diatribes about the nature of cleaning supplies and their relationship to broom closets in the natural order of things. Oh, this game's great. All right, I've got a second sticker back here, and I'm going to slap it on as well because I think it's appropriate. You see? I feel that it works because the sticker is also a, a bucket. A bucket. <laughs> that way, if you're ever unsure whether the thing you're holding is a bucket or not, you can look down at this sticker and say to yourself, Ah, it's a bucket. It is a bucket, yes. There really is a wide variety of I applications how many stickers for this sticker. Put on it. <laughs> Yeah, he still hasn't come out of the closet. You know what? I could take the name calling and the dismissal of your kinship with the bucket, but now the broom closet is just giving us a silent treatment. And to be honest, I'm sick of the pettiness on display. You can stay here all you like, but I've had it with this impetulant room of cleaning supplies. Easily the most childish oh. such room I've ever again. been in. I'll see you outside, and we can get on with the story about you and your bucket. Dang, game froze again. I'm just going to wait in here to see if he says anything else. No? Oh my goodness. This game keeps crashing. Crows, crows, crows. See if we can finish the story with the bucket, see what happens. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps Stanley lifted the bucket into his oh, arms, and stickers. a wave of comfort awesome. rushed over him. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Yeah, I'm gonna go to bed soon. I just wanna do, uh, I'm gonna run through the story just to see what happens when I have the bucket. Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now oh, more than ever. Crashed again. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Well, I guess it's time to call it a night. Thanks for hanging out, everyone. That's too bad. Maybe we'll pick it up again tomorrow or play something different, so... Well, thanks for hanging out. <coughs> yeah, I don't know why it keeps doing that. So... Oh well. The bucket is gone, yes. I'm going to go to bed. We'll see you guys again tomorrow. Have a good one and sleep well. I'll see you then. Bye.